Hi you guys, it's Lisa. Thanks for joining me back at my channel today. Ooh, the sun is out. Today is Monday and um, I just got back from a really great event. It was called Madison Mingle and it was in Madison, Wisconsin and it cost $80 to participate. And it started um, 10 o'clock on Friday morning, and it got done yesterday. I think we were leaving the hotel around 2.30. So I wanted to show you um, just the prizes that um, we were given and the door prizes that I picked out. There was huge tables of prizes that we got to pick out. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you all of the cards that I got, we had a trade, so we made a card for whoever wanted to trade with us, and that was, uh, the number was 35 this year, so I got 35 cards back from that, and then um, I did the actual mingle portion, so you make a card for all of the members, which is 50, in a packet, and then they go and pick up the kit on the table, and they make your card, and they put the kit back so everyone else can make your card. So you end up with 50 cards that way. So um, 85 cards total that I got. Um, I either created or someone else um, traded with me. So that is a lot of cards for in my stash. And as you know, I do send out a lot of greeting cards. So I'm super excited to have my stash all filled up. But right when we got there on Thursday, on Friday, excuse me, my friend Kathy and I went together, and it's a two and a half hour drive, not a big deal. So you get there, and you get this great big bag full of goodies, and it had um, pattern paper pack in it. It had this um, collapsible garbage can in it, which if you don't know what this is, it's super great for crafting. Because then you have your own little garbage can sitting there on your table. It's really, really nice and collapses down. So it goes right in your in your uh, kit, you know. So when you go crafting at someone's house, you've got a nice garbage can. Okay, so that was in our kit. We got a uh, 3D Sizzix um, Impressions uh embossing folder and many of you know what these are Oops, excuse me this one is a 3d like i said and it is the happy birthday one so super great uh uh gift right there isn't it we got a stencil girl um products stencil I don't know if everybody got the same or everybody got different but um at our table of three um, we all had the same. This one here is a layering stencil, and it's by the Ton Couture Designs, and it's a layering stencil. And on the back, it has a price, thirty dollars. Uh, poised Morning Glories layering stencil. Wow, thirty dollars. I don't know what the price was on on these items. Then in our bag, we've got this adorable um, stamp set here by Avery L. It's a clear stamp set, and they gave us the dies also. And it is really cute. Owls, owls with a branch, really super nice. Another one was by Gina K. Designs, and this one is called beauty in everything and it also includes the dyes there so you can make um, a really great flower arrangement and then tuck in this paper and it would look like a present present of flowers isn't that neat so that will be something that i'll work on put that in my creative stash right so like i said um they had a great big table at the front and it was full of donated items that different vendors donated. And when they called your table number, you got to go up there and you got to pick an item off of the table. So I got to do that several times. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six items that I got that I got to pick out. And it's nice because then you get to pick it out yourself. This is a stamp set called Short and Sweet by Raisin Boat, and it has 
tank tops and shorts. Hope today is great from top to bottom. From, from the top to the bottom. Isn't that cute? And this one says tanks. So a thank you card. A short note. Cute, huh? So I'll be making something with that. I also picked out this 3D embossing folder. It's hard to see because it's on white, but it's called Beautiful Blooms. And it is an amazing 3D embossing folder. You cannot see that at all, can you? Let's see if I can find something darker. Can you see that? Yeah, that's a little bit better. But a 3D embossing folder by Spellbinders. And that baby is going to be neat. I can't wait to, to get that into my embossing machine, right? So that was a great uh, free gift. I like stencils a lot. This one here is one that is by Say It With Stamps and Dies. Fits a slimline and mini slimline card sizes. It is summer leaves. But for me, I can open it up. For me, it really reminded me of feathers. I just have feathers on the brain these days. But that reminds me of feathers. So that's why I picked that one. Stick that back in there. Okay. Then I got one here. You can see this one, this packaging. This one is called Magical Vines. It's by Fairy Hug Stencils. Thank you so much to them. Here's a stamp that was just stuck on it, and it's just uh, some grasses that I picked out. This one here was by Raisin Boat also, and it's circle frames um, in the color of green. 25 circle frames, so you can make a card really quick and easy when you have those in your stash. And then a beautiful, beautiful um, stencil by Newton's Nook. And it is Serene Stripes stencil. I will definitely use that in my creations. So that was door prizes off the, off the um, door prize table. So super nice. If you weren't there and they called your number, uh, too bad, you just didn't get one, so not a problem. Then we um, got to pick off of the free table. There was a big round table in front of the um, room, and it had all kinds of free items that people donated out of their stash. And you just brought it in, and they put it on the table, and then you could go up at any time and just dig through it. It was just like, oh, so much fun. It was like we were in heaven. Um, this here is just a clean stamp from someone's stippled butterfly stamp, and it's by uh, Stampin' Up, and it's a, sw a swallowtail um, butterfly, and it was just on the ta table. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I'm going to put it on my car window. I think it's going to look super neat on that, so that's why I grabbed that. I grabbed these three stamps. I'm going to take them off of the blocks, of course. I just put them in the microwave for like 40 seconds, and then they peel right off of these blocks, and I like to use them that way. So you could see how I would use these in my mixed media creations. This one here is just uh, some dots. Don't know if it has the name on here. No, it's by Stampin' Up. This one here is also by Stampin' Up. And this one here is also by Stampin' Up. But you can see... Uh, beautiful, beautiful stamps. I definitely reused those. So thank you to whomever donated that to the free pile. Um, if you know anything about me, I teach classes and um, I do a lot of mixed media art. And I thought I could use this um, bag of paintbrushes. These brushes, some of them are better than <laughs> the ones I have in my um, junky brushes. So I'll see if I can save some of them. If not, I can put them in the trash. But um, it was a free bag of brushes. Like this one, I know I'll, I'll definitely use this one. I'll use this one. So someone else's trash, they thought, oh, get rid of it. Well, for me, woohoo! score. So I um, was happy with that. A couple other things. Somebody put in some black gesso from Dina Wakely. 
So I scarfed that right up because I love to use black gesso and I've never tried her product. So that was great. I get a chance at that. And then there was some lace that was up there, um, beige colored lace. And I'll definitely use that for something. Um, maybe, a, maybe an art journal or use it for the bookmark ends or something. You know, I thought I'd just go ahead and take that too because that was kind of right up my alley. So we got all those free goodies. And then we got the opportunity to do a purge table. Um, it was $5 to um, have a half of a six-foot table. So you got three feet. And then you could put out, put out your items that you were trying to get rid of, marked, of course. And people would just come up to you and hand you um, money. So that was really fun. And then we got to shop also. So when I went shopping, of course, I bought some stencils. These stencils um, I got, they're both Tim Holtz. Absolutely love them. And they were both of them for $3. Big deal. Uh, $3 is wonderful for me. Thank you very much. Um, I got this really cute uh, stamp and it is by rubber stamps from Art Impressions and this little lady Golden Oldies is holding a cat super cute so I got that I think it was two dollars for that stamp I bought some pattern paper from somebody she was selling it uh, ten sheets for a dollar well, I really liked these. Look at these. Tim Holtz. All of the different faces. And there was quite a few of those. So I got that. I got some masculine paper that um, was really great for me. So I scarfed those up. This one here is by Penny Black Designs. And it is tulips, I believe. Got some stuff in there. And uh, it's called Dazzle. But if um, anyone uses Penny Black Designs, these are brush stroke stamps. And super, uh, super neat. So I'll be using that in some card creations. This one here was brand new and I found it. It says Never Stop Making Wishes. It's got the dandelions that blow. Just a stamp. Really nice. I got a little cat stamp, and it's like a cat clock. Really cute. Well, I have a friend that loves cats, so I guess that will probably go in her little birthday bag, right? And if you like cats, and you may know who you are watching here. This is just a stamp. If you can see that, it's got all the different um, cities written on there. So it's got foreign foreign cities too, by the way. Bangkok, Chicago, Istanbul, Madrid, Tokyo, Buenos Aires, Mexico City, Washington, D.C. I just thought it would be neat for stamping on a background of some sort. I really enjoyed this one. This is our Daily Bread Designs, and it's a poppy stamp. So I purchased that. And these are, these from the used crafts, yeah, they're just like two, three dollars, super inexpensive. I really loved this little guy with the tree and his basket of leaves. It's uh, three dollars. It's by Cracker Box Place and just loved it for the fall. And one more here. I believe this one was possibly a door prize and it's just a little cute boot and Colorado Craft Company and it is called uh, Be Welly. I don't know what that, that's all about but a cute little boot and I thought maybe an umbrella and put some flowers in this boot that would be adorable. Okay so that's what I got from the used craft sale the free table and the other free table uh, for door prices. So great, great things 
I'll stop right here, come back in a minute, and I'll go through some of the cards that I collected um, over the weekend, either that I made um, from a stamp kit of someone that was there, or I um, got from the um, from the swap, the trade that we had. Okay, so I'm going to get that organized, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, look at this <laughs> unbelievable amount of cards. And I still have this many left in my box that I haven't gone through. And I have a stack that looks like this of things that I did not put together completely because they just weren't my style, which, which is fine. We all have different styles, you know. And then I have a stack like this. That just needs to be finished coloring because I wasn't going to waste my time uh, coloring while I had all of these cards to put together. So I'll very um, quickly just show you a few. This one here was my card that I designed. I definitely have a mixed media style compared to others. I've got some wire on here, some watercolor butterflies, and one has a vintage butterfly underneath there, and then it's layered so that it is um, dimensional, and then they had a sentiment that they stuck on with some little gems. So that was my card that I created. This one was my girlfriend's card, so very, very cool. She did a lot of die cutting, and she did embossing, uh, embossing folders, so she did a lot of work on hers. But really, really cool. Look at this one. This one has uh, fishing lures on it. They're made out of paper, of course. Everything is paper. And then I went ahead and put glossy accents on the lures to make them shiny. So I just made it a little bit different, made it look a little bit um, different the way I liked it. So, so you know, you don't have to do it exactly as they had on their instructions. You could um, make it be... Uh, a little bit different like this one for instance um, I put a little gem on the collar I put glossy accents on the doggy's nose and I put a little um, fish uh, paper clip on there I used a different sentiment and it's it's adorable it's just a little bit different than what they did you know this one here um, I had a different kind of paper than they had for their sample, so I just used it and made the umbrella out of the background paper. So again, you can make it any way you want. Look at that adorable card. This flamingo was not on there. It's just something I had in my stash, it's just something I had to add to it. This one here is really cute, and this is not colored yet because I... I didn't want to sit and take the time to color it, but isn't it neat? So many neat ones. And then there's a, a grand prize. Everybody got to pick which one they thought was the best. Um, best as in com com uh, compre comprehensive uh, instructions, how much you could understand these instructions. And this is the one that won. Look at this. Flips in there. And look at flip. This is the number one winner, and she won a prize for her card creation. I mean, look how fun this one is. Super cute. It says, wait, you're how old? Still not old, en still not old enough to know better. Look at that. It's adorable. So <laughs> I have some work just to finish up some of these cards, but what a great weekend. I wanted to share it with you. So um, next week we will do some creating. I'll probably be working in an art journal again. I'm still working on that great big art journal. I have to get that in by May 15th, so I'll be working on it. Maybe it will be that one. Have a great week and keep creating. And if you have any um, excitement, you know, any great places that you are going, any events like this coming up, let me know. Share in the comments below, and then we can all... Um, have the good fortune of seeing what you have created or what fun things you're doing out there. Okay? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye now.